Hi everyone. Um, so, I've been back from Orlando for two weeks now and I did say I was going to do a hints and tips video, uh, which is what this is going to be. It's only my thoughts. Um, take it or leave it. It's entirely up to you. But the things I'm about to say are what I find works for Florida. So hopefully some of it will be beneficial to you. Some of it you probably already know, and some of it you might not even care. But um, I hope you get something out of the video, so let's crack on. So the hints and tips I'm about to say aren't in any particular order. So I'm going to start with number one, I prefer booking my holiday individually. Um, rather than through a travel agent, I will book my flights and I will book my hotels separately. It's what works for me. And I find it normally works out cheaper. Also, if you book through, say, a cash referral site like Top Cashback, for example, you quite often can get a decent chunk back, especially if it's um, somewhere through like Hotels.com or Booking.com or Travel Republic. They all offer like a decent amount of cashback, so it's worthwhile looking at um, those options rather than necessarily going through your traditional package holiday. So that is my first tip. So my second thing is pre-book an extra suitcase for coming home. If you're planning on doing extra shopping, it takes a lot of the worry out of, am I gonna be overweight, etc. Um, this holiday I've just been on, I flew with Norse. I pre-booked my bag way in advance. I think it was something like 60 pounds. Um, I think it's probably dearer the later you leave it because you can actually really book probably whilst you're away if you suddenly found out you bought a lot of stuff. But um, yeah, if you want to do a lot of shopping and give yourself an extra 23 kilograms or where, whatever it might be, then definitely consider booking an extra suitcase for the return trip. Now, new for me on this trip was flying into Orlando Airport Terminal C. Now, I 100% do not want to ever not fly into Terminal C. It was so much easier than A or B, so much quicker, less stressful, less busy. It was a piece of cake. You don't have to get on the monorail. You don't have to go through crowds of people, unless I got particularly lucky. Um, from getting off the plane to getting in my Uber, was 40 minutes you collect your luggage then you go through security and straight out lovely easy peasy and i definitely would like to stick for terminal c in the future yes please thank you very much the only downside is unfortunately i think ba fly terminal c virgin do not but takes a hell of a lot of worry out of the airport there and back so Something to think about anyway, um, yeah, Terminal C gets my vote. I'm sure a lot of people know this already, but if you stay on site at Universal at their three premium hotels, you get fast passes included in your stay. So the three premium hotels are Royal Pacific, Hard Rock Hotel and Portofino Bay. Portofino Bay is the only one I've stayed at, it's absolutely bloody amazing. Um, so, you can book one night and you will get fast passes for the night you check in and the night you check out. Two days fast passes for one night stay. Now, these hotels don't come cheap and it works out better the more people you have in your room. Uh, for example, let's say, let's say Portofino Bay is £600 a night, which is a lot of money. Well, if there's four of you in that room and you're getting fast passes worth anything up to $300 per day, work that out. You are saving a lot of money and especially at peak times of the year, fast passes are a godsend. And I know people that will book that one night trick and not even use the room. They will literally go to the hotel. You can go first thing in the morning of your uh, check-in day collect your fast passes and go off for the day and not even use the room. So that's definitely something to consider and 
a good little hack, I think. So, yeah, look into that. Uh, anyone that's followed any of my previous trips will know that I love Spain on International Drive. It is an amazing place. It's got everything you need. It's full of restaurants. It's full of activities, different things to do. Uh, anything from Crazy Goal to Icon Park, uh, escape rooms, ice bar, slingshots, the Titanic exhibition, uh, Two Swords, uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not, Wonderworks, tons of stuff. I ride is amazing. Now, I do not drive in Florida because, quite frankly, it scares the what's it out of me. The I ride trolley is fantastic. It runs up and down the whole duration of International Drive, which is a hell of a long way. I think there's 40 odd stops. Um, yeah, the iRide is fantastic value for money. You can hop on and off as much as you like. I normally buy a 14 day pass. This trip, I think I bought mine from Florida Ticks and it was so cheap. I'm talking like less than 10 pounds for a two week stay and it really is a great way of getting around and you save a lot of money. So definitely look into the iRide trolley. So, Uber and Lyft, I cannot recommend them enough. As I said, as a non-driver in Florida, I use Uber and Lyft all the time. I tend to go more with Uber. Um, I do normally price check the two. I normally find that Uber comes out cheaper. A lot of people will say the opposite. So it really does depend on the day where you're going. I always have a quick look. They are so reliable. They come within minutes. Um, I, you don't have the awkwardness of a taxi where you have to sort out your dollars and worry about tipping and stuff. It's all prepaid. You can see when they're coming, you can see who your driver is, what the car is. And yeah, it just honestly saves so much hassle over there. Like I was staying on iDrive, I got an Uber. Rather than, rather than um, wait for the uh, transportation to the parks, which most hotels offer, I would rather pay five dollars and go when I want, not have to go around all the other hotels doing pickups, get dropped right at the door, happy days, five dollars, it's nothing, and you've gone in comfort, and most of the drivers are friendly and chatty, and yeah, I really recommend Uber and Lyft, and a lot of the time there's offers to save deals on trips as well, so Uber and Lyft, fantastic. So let's talk about the parks themselves. My absolute number one hack in a theme park is use the single rider queues. They are there for a reason. Um, fair enough, if, you, if it's your first holiday and you wanna go on and experience it together, fine, queue up. Because in fairness, the queues are fantastic. Queue up, go on it together. If you wanna go on it again, go on single rider. It cuts out so much time. And for me, as a solo traveller on this last trip, it was an absolute lifesaver. So not all rides have them, um, but a lot do. So when you find one that has single rider, to me, it's a gift. Take it, use it. You can have four or five rides instead of one ride. So to me, it's a no brainer. Single rider, happy days, go for it. I'm sure if you visit Universal Parks, you will use the Hogwarts Express to park hop. You need your park to park ticket for that. Um, if you're only planning on getting the Hogwarts Express uh, one direction, because bear in mind both trips have different little stories and stuff, things that go on on the train. If you're only going to get one direction, my tip is to go from islands to studios rather than from studios to islands. It's a slightly better story a um, bit more, bit more uh, entertaining and funny and personally I prefer that one so that is my Hogwarts Express tip. My absolute must do for Universal is the Bourne Stuntacular. It is an amazing show. I could sit in that show time after time after time. It is so impressive how they do it. Like the first time I went to see it a couple of years ago I was blown away with the technology. Um, it's really, really difficult to explain, but it's one of those 
um, attractions that a lot of people might walk past because there's not really much to look at from the outside and um, I never did the old Terminator attraction that was there before but honestly you will not be disappointed the Bourne Spectacular, fantastic do not miss it if you're thirsty in a theme park you can get free ice water from any quick service food destination or any little food carts that are set up the coke freestyle machines all have free ice water obviously you've also got the um the bubbler water fountains that you tend to get outside the toilets all right they don't taste fantastic but it's water and um i found that if you buy before you go you can get like little collapsible cups from amazon that just slip into your pocket pop them up when you want them you can fill them from the fountains happy days you save a fortune on drinks because Unless you're going to go and buy a, a, a soda, um, fountain soda, drinks are expensive and water can be like four or five dollars a bottle so definitely make use of the free water on offer. Just another one on the water, my big advice is when you arrive in Orlando go and do a big shop somewhere or a shop for supplies from your Walgreens or your Walmart. Walmart is obviously preferable, but it's a little bit trickier to get to. But you can buy 24 bottles of water for anything from $3, 4 5 6 whatever, depending on which brand you choose. But, oh my God, you save so much money buying your water like that. As I said in the previous clip, if you pay for water out on a bell, it's crazy expensive. So buy your water in bulk, you will not regret it. So next tip, um, when you're going out dining on anywhere, always check online first because a lot of places do their own offers on their websites. If you sign up before you go, you can get free appetizers, uh, half price entrees, a free dessert, anything like that. Um, chilies, for example, I know, I'm pretty sure you get free chips and salsa on your first visit. Um, and obviously every restaurant has offers on different days of the week there's always something available my tip which I've discovered on this trip now I am a huge steak fan and I have my fill of steak every time I go to America now the Black Angus Steakhouse which is located between trolley stops 6 and 7 is attached to the monumental movie land hotel doesn't look much from the outside but it's a really nice um, restaurant I had an amazing steak in there last year um, this trip I discovered their early bird menu which I think something like between midday and five something like that um, I went there and had their prime rib special now I'm telling you now it was absolutely delicious the best steak I've ever had melt in the mouth amazing so good i went and had it twice um yeah now i paid i think 19 dollars comes with a side and a salad and i think you actually get pudding as well and bread that was about a 15 dollars saving had i gone outside of the early bird window so definitely worth making the most of those deals so always check restaurants before you go and yeah definitely check out prime rib game changer having said what i just said another first for me on this trip was using uber eats over there or doordash the equivalent of what we have over here in the uk now as, as you know i was a solo traveler i didn't always want to go out at night and dine by myself so three or four times I got Uber Eats delivered to my hotel. Easy peasy. Now you might end up paying, I don't know, five, six, seven dollars more than if you're sitting in the restaurant. However, if you're sitting in the restaurant, A, you've got to get to the restaurant, which can be a faff depending on whereabouts it is, and B, you have to leave quite a large tip. So if you take that into consideration, the little bit extra you're paying for having the privilege of having it delivered to your hotel is nothing. They package it really nicely, they provide cutlery, alright it's not quite the same but it's really convenient and it's definitely a way of 
having some tasty food and not necessarily, you don't always want to go out after a long tiring day, but definitely look at Uber Eats because it was absolutely worth it for me. So, shopping in Orlando. Well, as I said at the start of this, get an extra suitcase, it will change your life. But once again, always look online and sign up for places. A lot of them will ask you at the till, would you like to provide your email address and save an additional 10%, 15%, whatever it might be. Just say yes. I know it's annoying and none of us really want all this spam emails that they're going to send you afterwards. But you know what? In the past I've said no thank you. This time, yes please, yes please, yes please. I signed up to them all. I've come home, I've unsubscribed to them all. So it's definitely worth doing just to save a little bit more. And then yeah, your money goes a bit further. So what more can you want? Do it. So that's my main tips and advice done. Just gonna give you a few little bonus comments now, thoughts, carryisms, whatever you wanna call them. Um, firstly, if you've never been there, go to Discovery Cove. I have no words to describe how much I love it there. Such a cool place. Chilled, relaxing, beautiful, scenic, amazing. There's no other place like it. If you want to break from the theme parks, yes, it's expensive. Look out for the deals. They do exist. And again, if you buy through the cashback sites, they work out a bit cheaper, but definitely worth going to Discovery Cove. Number two, have a Cinnabon. They are amazing. I'm very late to the game discovering them, but get a Cinnabon. They are bloody delicious. Get extra frosting as well. Freak out, live a little. Life's short, you only live once. Life's not a rehearsal, blah, blah, blah. Get a cinema. Third and final tip. When you go on Men in Black, keep your finger on the trigger. Simple. I see people, psh, psh, psh. keep your finger on the trigger. Easy. You score more. Trust me. Thank you later. Good night. So, that's it. I hope you found one thing I've said helpful. If you have, fantastic. Do me a favour, subscribe to my channel, drop me a like and a comment, would be amazing. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed my Florida videos. And yeah, let's get booking again, because two weeks home, and I miss it already. So uh, I hope you all have a fantastic time whenever you go. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye, 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 bye.